guys. So right now, well, first of all, happy last day of Week of Respect. I know that it's Friday that you had your walkathon this morning. Hopefully you had a lot of fun and I'm hoping, because I'm recording this on Thursday night, I'm hoping that the weather tomorrow holds out and that we have a really nice, wonderful day. So I apologize for it being a little rocky, the video today, but as you can see, I'm outside. And the reason I wanted to film this one outside is because this week we've been talking so much about respect and kindness, but we've also been talking about a few other words like resiliency and what it means to be resilient. And I know that a lot of us, especially in second, third, and fourth grade, have started to understand what resilient means. It means that even in times that are tough or hard, we're able to keep going. We're able to keep forcing ourselves to put a smile on and try to do our best and to keep pushing through the day. And as I was driving home just now, the weather started to be resilient, if that makes any sense. And I thought, perfect, this is going to be what our last video is all about. Because most days, at least I hope most days for you, it's pretty easy to be kind. It's pretty easy to be nice to each other. And when we sit down and think about it or talk about it, we know how to be nice. I don't think I really need to make podcast videos telling you how to be kind and respectful to each other or to your teachers or to things. But the times that we're not kind and the times that we're not respectful are typically because we're feeling something inside that's not too nice. And that was really one of my main focuses this week. It's talking about how to be a good person even on those days when we don't want to be a good person. Talking about being resilient like Josh Dream mentioned at the beginning of Week of Respect. So as I was driving home, like I said, all of a sudden the clouds started to lift and the rain actually completely stopped at this point. And it started to become a beautiful day again. It had been gorgeous this morning and then there was lots of rain and now it's a nice day again. So. I thought that this weather was a perfect example of being resilient, of how it keeps going, and how the bad times don't stay forever, and how we can hopefully push through them and be resilient and still manage to be kind. So today's video is short. It's really just a wrap up. It's a wrap up for this week that hopefully you've learned a lot. Hopefully it's made us think about how we act, how we talk to others in different ways. I know another big word of this week was empathy and how we can be kind to one another and how we can care for each other and how we can try our best to walk in someone else's shoes, even if it doesn't mean actually putting somebody else's shoes on, to try and put ourselves in their position, to try and understand what others are going through. By doing all of these things, makes being a good person a little bit easier. So I hope that you have many good days. But I also hope that on those days that aren't good, you're able to keep going. You're able to keep being a good person. Sorry, my neighbors are out to play, so it might be a little loud. <laughs> but I hope that you're able to push through and be resilient and to continue practicing being kind and respectful to each other and to try and make LPES the best place possible and then taking it even further than that trying to make your town your world the best place possible your nation too I forgot one in between there you know just because today is the last day of week of respect it doesn't mean that all this ends it keeps going Remembering how those small, simple acts of kindness, using someone's name, saying thank you, holding the door for someone, giving a smile, all those tiny little acts of kindness can really add up into a big, giant change. So I hope that as the weekend continues and as we come back to school next week and as the month of October keeps going and November and December and 
before we know it, it'll be a new year. I hope that we're able to take the lessons from this week with us. I hope that we're able to still try to be the best we can be, to try to live up to our potential, even on the days that are kind of hard, even on the days when it might rain. Because before you know it, the sun will come out again. All right, LP, as it has been such a fun week, celebrating Week of Respect with you and having all these fun different events. I hope you've enjoyed it and learned something along the way. Until next time, this is Mrs. Heffler reminding you to be kind.